Alright, thank you guys for being here. Welcome to my channel. Um, Alright, I hope everybody's well. Thank you for um, just being here, honestly. Uh, liking, liking the videos, commenting, subscribing, all that. I want to try to remember to say that. Um, I do put my information in the drop down the description box. Um, so I've been seeing people asking how they can reach out to me. Um, so just the description box at the, t you know, if, when you click on the video, right? The description box near my name or something like that. All right, so um, that's how you guys can reach me or donate or anything. Um, I love you guys. All right. Email, my email is there as well. And the disclaimer. I think I put the disclaimer there. All right. All right. Let's see. Whoa, that was fast. There's a message in here, I guess. All right. This is the Ancient Ones. No, it's not. It's called the um, Mystical Shaman Oracle. All right. I thought it was called the Ancient Ones deck. And I opened right up to Mystical Shaman. So you could be a mystic or a shaman. A mystical shaman. I opened up to the drum. So I'm going to read it. Okay. It's number 15. All right. So I'm getting the devil card number. And 144 on the timer. So um, this number 15. It's probably about transformation or something. All right. Uh, rebirth and stuff. Let's see them. It says the essence. The rhythm of the drum tunes you to the healing heart of the universe. Its wood frame um, links you to the trees and helps you journey to the lower world via the roots in the upper world through the branches. The drum skin gives you the shaman gives the shaman the power of the powers of the animal kingdom. Striking the drum drum calls forth the power of the thunder and the rumbling of the earthquake. Uh, the drum invites you, invites into a trance state when healing and prophecy happen. All right, yesterday I paused the TV um, at the perfect time and it said earthquake and I believe the numbers were three something. So um, I'm getting, this, this could be why this is coming out here. So there could be an earthquake coming in March. I wanna say it was March, I forget the numbers. I paused it and I remember to to take a mental note because I got them I got the information normally I'll if it's just nothing I won't even think about it but so it got dropped in my spirit right that that is significant so and this is clarifying what happened to me just yesterday so this could be a prophecy all right of an earthquake in March oh, I wish I could remember the numbers um, it says I gotta start writing stuff down the invitation. It says the drum invites you to take the next bold step into your journey. The forces of heaven and earth are aligned behind are aligned behind you, supporting and now behind you, not in front of you, right? So we're being we're being. It's an initiation of us to be going first, right? The universe is there to support us. Um, we've learned what we needed to learn. I feel like. Um, all right, so the um, forces of heaven and earth align behind you, supporting effortless action. This is not the time to push against the river. The current will take you exactly where you want to go. Once you jump in, collect your power tools and summon your courage because it's going to be a wild and glorious journey. Allow yourself to be carried by the rhythm of what is really essential in your life. All right, so this is reminding me of another download. Um, hold on, I gotta go back a little. Okay, I think I spoke about this a few days ago or yesterday or recently about um, how if things aren't aligned for you, you'll feel like you're forcing it. Don't try to force things. You're, we're going with the flow at this time, okay? There's a season for everything in our life, to learn, to, to teach, to rest. For this, is like going with the flow. So if you're trying to to do something and it's everything's against you and you feel like you're struggling you're stressed out that is not the path for you you shouldn't have to force something that the universe is supporting or that is meant for you the medicine it says you travel to the 
beat of a different drum. It's time to acknowledge you do not fit in the role or relationship that is not the that is not in tune with you. Find your rhythm. Respond to the heartbeat of a, a distant drum. The price you pay for lingering becomes higher with each passing day. Now is the time to move. Move on. All right. Pay attention. You. This is a message for people who are tuned in and tuned in and tuned in enough and you'll know this message is for you okay this is a confirmation of something you're already feeling like some of you are meant to be traveling you're meant to be um not you've you've uh, you've learned or taught everything you've needed to and where you have been it's time to gravitate other people need you and you need other people so it's like a level up right so you're leveling up you're moving on from what it doesn't suit you anymore. There's no offense to anyone, right? You're learning the same. It, now you're being tested, right? It's you're being tested on things you've already passed or learned. It's time to, it's like time to go. Now things are going to start um, feeling um, like you're going swim, swimming against the tide, all right? This is something you're getting ready to jump into. You're going to be carried, okay? It's not going to be something you're going to have to struggle and and have sleepless nights over. It's going to be exciting, and it's like it's time to take that leap of faith. You and you don't so like because I don't live in a in a in a home or a house or pay rent. It's like to them they think I'm suffering, right? Because that's what they feel they need to feel stable or um, secure. But I'm not, I don't feel that way, okay? It's like it, not everybody is the same. Oh, it, it would be a very boring place. So to someone else, what I'm going through, and, and it can be tough, right? It's like I'm lucky I know what I know about the situation, right? If I didn't, I would be devastated and crying every day. But I understand what's happening, Okay, so it's like, um, I'm not going to feed into the people who want to get me to conform to their standards or their, their ideals. All right. Excuse me for a minute. Um, all right. Right, so there was a time where we waited. Um, it's like we, it, we, so we still can wait on instructions, right? But um, we're before when I first started waking up to what was like really going on around me, right? Or who people really were and what they were doing behind my back, right? I, it was instructional. I was getting told to do certain things, when to do it. So now the universe knows that I've learned more and I've come to a certain level, right? We've come to a certain level and now we're leading the way, but we have we can fall back if we need to. Like we got we got back up. All right. All right, let's see what else comes out. Um we might as well stick with it, this theme, right? Okay, I'll do this one. And I just saw that other deck. I also, um, I have a video uploading now. Okay. It's, um, I think I said it, it's a pre-recorded premiere. So it pe it's not a live, but a lot of people first when they saw it, they thought they were lives. Um, it's, I think for one o'clock, right? Thank you guys. Uh, I always see all the likes and stuff. Uh, you guys make my day, seriously, all right? Um, it used to be hard for me to like accept things or like receive, right? I'm learning. Um, it's not all about me having to stand my ground anymore, right? I, I have to do a lot less of that now. Um, the all right, firm boundaries are in place in their standing. All right. And someone said to me, um, what did they say to me earlier? Uh, it'll come back to me if it's meant to. I wish I could remember what it was. It was just, I was just getting ready to say it and then it slipped my mind. So 
It must have slipped my mind for a reason. I think this person is just trying to get under my skin. This is one of the people who knows what, what ticks me. But again, we're being... And Spirit is using these lessons that we've already learned, the same people in our lives, to make sure we learn the lesson, right? We're not lowering our boundaries for people who want to come in and snake us. We recognize the difference, all right? Regret, all right? So someone could be re uh, regretting something. It says, I know that I cannot change the past, right? Relationships. So these could be people you have share relation have had relationships with. It says, I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. So maybe, all right. Uh, empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. And, and don't fall for that either. Like people know that you see different perspectives. Don't let them use that to um, play games with you. And because this person still envies you or these people, all right? They envy you. It says, I am the same as everyone but different challenges. It's okay to, to envy. Oh, I don't like the word envy, but there's good and bad parts to it. Just like everything else, right? Um, the bad side of envy can be dangerous, all right? When people act on how they feel or they, they think about it so frequently, that's why... Um, Spending too much time with certain people that you know don't like you, or if you have to, it's it's like protect your energy, all right. So someone's someone you you could even be regretting certain people you've entertained longer than you needed to, right? Because you saw the good in people, or you um, you could see the good side, the good you know of everybody. Maybe you focused more on the light side, and you just didn't want to believe that they had the dark side. We all have it. It's like, I even have a shadow. It's like, all right. Um, empty well. Time to replenish and dream thief. Refusal of the call. So someone could have refused the call in the past or is refusing the call now. Um, or someone's trying to hold you back. See the monkey? That's the flying monkey trying to hold you back from, from answering the call. Why wouldn't anybody... If they know they're being called, and you'll know. It's like, why wouldn't... And this can be anything. It doesn't have to be on your purpose in life. It could be helping someone else in a situation. God is calling you to do that. That is still a calling. It might not be part of... It could be part of your purpose. If you're seeing someone needed some help from you, and, and you could do something about it, and you choose not to, that's refusal of the call, all right? Now, so, now this is like sucking the life out of people that they could have helped, but they didn't. Empty well. That's like this person needs to replenish now. This could even be you. Maybe you spend too much time with certain in certain situations that you knew was time to go and you stayed. That's sucking sucking the life out of you. I got a whole different energy being in a hotel than I did in that apartment that was I should have felt secure. And nobody feels secure paying two thousand dollars a month for rent. Right? I'm not stupid. There's got to be a better way to not be robbed. Honestly. And now people are taking the times other people are going through and they're using that to their advantage. And they're going to they're gonna suffer for that. Right use of power. They are. And they, they didn't think it was... They thought it was funny before. In the age of Pisces, or when it first started trans transitioning, and now they're like, oh, they're seeing it. They're actually seeing it, All right? So, and that's the case of, like, I told you so, but um, I don't like to say that to people. Um, so, opportunity. So, somebody's going to get the opportunity to do the right thing, is what it sees here, to get back to integrity. Look, everything I'm saying is coming out because I'm channeling the message from Divine, and it is confirming what I'm saying, okay? Because I'm saying it before I see the cards. Um, sometimes I use the cards first to channel the message, but these, I'm already, when I start speaking, it's flowing. I'm, I'm step, me, Jen, has stepped aside and Divine is using me as a microphone, basically. Um, forgiveness, yeah, repairing the veil. September could be significant. I also have eight here, uh, 35, 45, eight, four could be significant. August 4th, August 13th. All right. Um, 
rearrange the numbers. If you heard your number, if it's sequ sequenced here, um, and we got number one, uh, number one, a tidy house, clarity and organization. I've also been decluttering. Even after leaving everything behind, I'm starting to even more declutter what I do have with me. I haven't even used anything at the at, at my storage unit. I haven't even like it's just still there, right? But um, I felt like I needed that stuff. I haven't missed any of it. I haven't. I, I'm probably gonna need some of it because it's like some winter stuff in there, and like my, my kids' toys, some of her toys and stuff. Like I can leave all my stuff, but her. And I'm trying to teach her how we need to detach from things. It's healthy to let things go, especially if we don't play with those toys anymore. If you need any of that stuff in the apartment that you miss when we're here and gone, I will go personally buy it for you. I will. And I and I meant it, you know. Nothing's come up yet, you know. One game, she had one little, I don't even know why I'm saying this, one little um, night where it was like a little tough for her it was settling in. Like, same with me. It like hit me, you know what I mean? And... It was a little sad, but I moved on from it quickly. For, for her, she's six. Like, it's, the rules are a little different, right? But I'm aware of that. Um, so uh, I'm, like, on top of that with her. But um, it was then when I asked her what she missed, she said one a game. And I was like, we could go buy that at the store. It's like a break the ice. It's like all she could think of. She was trying so hard to think of something. I even said that to her. I'm like, if you need anything that we left, and you can remember what it is, we'll, we'll go buy it. And uh, that's what she came up with. So out of all this stuff that we left behind, and you know what I mean? That was like, don't break the ice game. So um, I can't handle that. Like the bunk beds, oh well, you know what I mean? It was like stuff like that. She misses it. And it's sad. I feel bad. But it's part of life. If my kid's not prepared, unfortunately it happens so young, like young, but like she'll remember this. But she'll also remember this. Do you know what I mean? She'll remember how we got through it and how I, and people want to make me anxious about a situation I'm not anxious about that affects my daughter. Do you know what I'm saying? She can feel that. She can sense if I'm afraid or anything like that. So um, to tell me that she's lashing out because of this is crazy. It's just crazy. It is. So I'm not believing the illusions anymore. Um, I see right through them and I'm not going to react to them the way they want me to react to them like I used to react to them and that's part of the lesson being learned here in the comments like people leaving comments that I can read through it's like I'm learning to just laugh at it and that's how, that's honestly how I feel about it it's not me trying to force it I've been dealing with it for so long that it is so these people who are attacking us and think they're doing something are only helping strengthen strengthen us and test us make sure we learn that lesson so we we get the next move where we're going right but they want us to pick like the spirit wants us to make those decisions we're here to manifest our happiness what we want what we desire um and god knows our heart so it's like it's like a win-win situation at this point. We just got to make the moves. We just got to find the courage and the strength and the bravery and all that stuff. And that's that's for us. That's what we came here for, to learn these lessons and to create our realities. And other people's, too, like to help other people find the courage to do the same thing. Because some people are working jobs, and it's just a job because of the money. But when you walk with God, it's like um, you don't do it for that anymore. You detach from the material world. And I'm saying this for a reason. Um, you will have what you need to live out your dreams, to manifest your dreams, no matter what it is, even if people are against it and think it's wrong. If you know you're not hurting yourself or anybody else and you have God's blessings, right? Because we go within for all this information. It's a time of hermiting where we figure all this, like, not all of it out, but how to move forward, right? Well, and then, but, but there's a season of paying your karmic debts. You have to right your wrongs. And how you do that is between you and God. Not you and that person or with that person. And what you dream and desire, you should keep to yourself because not everybody's happy for you, even though they might smile on your face. And this could even be a parent, and I, this isn't to put any of my parents down because I know people assume everything I say is about them and stop doing that, all right? Don't worry about my, my story. 
my story is similar to y'all's stories, but there's there might be different, okay? All right, so this is a heavy channeling right here. I don't even need, like, it says, Lord, take charge and authority. Ch take charge with authority. Right, so lead the way. You have the support. It says, Oracle, wait for important information. I think it's just saying everything, <laughs> repeating everything I just said. And be open to healing information, okay? So our ancestors are also want, wanting us to work with like more um, herbal stuff um, or like earthly stuff, but not like money and stuff like that. It's like things of the earth, right? Um, making our own natural remedies or stuff like that. That's I'm picking that up for some of you. So you know, some of you might be starting to think of that stuff or like um, sound healing and stuff like that, right? I don't even want to touch with, with this with the tarot. So I'm just going to pull. I got 10 more minutes. I'm just going to pull um, this stuff right here. Surrender. It says, surrender your need to control the outcome. Just be with life in the present moment. And that, that was the other thing that I was getting ready to say. But I had so much going through my mind at once. Um... I didn't want to stop. Um, God knows what's on our heart, what we desire. And sometimes what we are trying to manifest is not really what we want. It's what we think we want. So the lessons come in after to close that cycle out so we can level up and figure that out, right? Because sometimes it's not really even what we want. So like the outcome, we can get trapped in what we want things to look like, right? But that changes when the more you grow, like... My idea of what I wanted my life to look like has changed so much within the last year alone, right? Or what I thought I needed, right? Needs and wants are totally different. It's like you'll have what you need. So, if, And if you're trying to leave a, a toxic situation, you know that's what you need to do or what you want. You really want to do it, but you're afraid of the money aspect part of it. If you're being guided to move, move two 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 on the timer you will be i went through this i did they told were telling me to leave my situation and i had a roof over my head it was a big beautiful you know everything that everything everybody wants but i was dead inside and it was affecting my my kid and the fighting and all of that and um i found the courage i did it like i i it was time to go like i was in danger whether it's spiritually or physically right and I was taken care of every step of the way, right? These are almost like trust falls. You'll know you you'll leave when you've had enough. That's just when you've learned the lesson, you will just move on from it. It's like you won't allow yourself to be put through that any anymore. All right? Yes, yeah, strength. It says you are being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. channel it says you are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world truth it says see your light know your power have the courage to walk your truth repentance is the first thing to admit to admit to, not to anybody but but you and your higher power whatever you believe right repentance ask for forgiveness that's how you start. If people are wondering, where do I start? That's how you start, okay? And then you wait on this. You go within. You get away from people who don't, who make it so you can't think straight, right? You get away from those people because you need to, you need a clear mind, all right? Get away from the people who make you think you need them to survive. That is the wrong way to go, all right? And especially if there's, that is abuse, but especially if there's like physicals, any, any type of things like that. All right. I don't know who the hell I'm talking to today, but I love you guys. All right. I'm here for both sides. Like I know why the ancestors picked me to come out here and, and I know who is on the other side. I don't know 
you know, like, but I know who's on the other side. I know whose energy shows up here, and I'm here to help you, too. Even if you think that I don't like you, which I like everybody, I see I see everybody equally, all right? I see myself in everybody, all right? So it's like um, I want to see people grow. I want to see people free themselves from what's holding them back. And it doesn't have to be a person. It can be an idea. It can be your demons, your own demons. I have my own demons. They yell at me every day. I have to fight them because I know... I know what it is. I know they're just trying to get my attention. I pray them off me, all right? I clear my energy. Sometimes it's not even my 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 energy. It's other people in my energy. It's like um projecting or I I rebuke it, you know? I cancel it. I'm not a very even when I was going to church or like re, doing the religious thing like I didn't read the Bible, and I don't know why I'm even bringing this up either, but, like, and I know it's very important to do this, to, like, understand it, because it's very, it's, there's a lot of wisdom in it, but people take it, and I don't even want to go here, all right, because I still, I'm still in my own, doing my own research on it, right, my beliefs about it, it's like, I don't want to speak too soon, because it can change, and I don't want to be called the. I don't really care if people call me a hypocrite because I'm still standing in my truth at that moment. That is what I believe. All right, but I, my ideas change, and and they change with my mood. <sighs> the spirit that I'm in, right? It can change. So, um, like sometimes I can feel one way about the same situation when I'm sad. I, it's like totally different, or when I'm angry, it's to, it's different. It's so it's like. I'm figuring that out about me and myself because we have spirits. I'm more of a spiritual aspect of it, not the physical aspect. So, like, psychology and spirit, spirit, like, combine them, right? Take what you need from both. It doesn't have to be one or the other, and that's the same with spirituality and religion. Take what you need out of it. It's universal, right? Just because they did what they did with it, right? I don't know. So, this is what I have to say. This is my rant for the day. All right? I love you guys. I'm going to leave this here. I'll pull one of these. <laughs> they said that's it. There we go. I got one. Go forward fearlessly. All right? It says pay attention to your dreams. You're getting messages in your dreams, all right? Or um, or, or this could even be your, your dreams, what you desire. Pay attention to it. Manifest it. Focus on it, right? All right, guys. I love you. You're only going to get, when you're manifesting, you're going to manifest at your vibration. All right? And what you focus upon, that's what you're going to bring in. So keep your, it, that's why it's important. To, I, I talk about vibration all the time. And again, I'm talking to the people who are, who are on the fence with wanting to do this. Now I am talking to, you know, the people who are on the fence with wanting to separate or, or walk in the light, right? Or stay, right? So um, let's, let's roll these. We got the two, someone's planning something. Planning to reject something, all right? Five of swords. Someone's planning to, re, someone is planning to reject the fighting or, or it's like going, going into the light. So that's what I'm getting from that, all right? Or someone's rejecting plans to, to sabotage, not sabotage, to um, five of swords someone. Five of Swords can be different for everybody. Your Five of Swords is going to be different from someone else's Five. Sometimes I see it in the card, what it is. But there's so many of you, it's like hard to pinpoint what the Five of Swords is going to be for you, right? But I feel like they're watching you on your social media also. I picked that, I'm picking that up. Maybe this has to do with your social media. They Maybe they want you rejected from it or something like that. But that's like where they do that at, all right? All right, guys, I love you all. Please have a beautiful day.